I'd like to now cover the muscles of the anterior thigh. To give you an orientation, we're looking at the rectus femoris next to the sartorius and the tensor fascia lata. I'm going to start with the sartorius, the tailor's muscle. The sartorius has its origin at the anterior superior iliac spine and its insertion is down on the tibia. Its action is to flex, abduct, and later laterally rotate the thigh and flex the knee. The next muscle I'd like to show you is the first muscle of the quadriceps femoris muscle group, the rectus femoris. Its origin is on the anterior inferior iliac spine and it inserts on the patella and tibial tuberosity. Its action is to extend the knee and it also flexes the thigh at the hip. The next muscle, the quadriceps femoris muscle group, is the vastus lateralis. Its origin is on the greater trochanter and it too inserts on the patella and tibial tuberosity. Its action is to extend the knee. The next muscle I'd like to show you is the vastus medialis. Its origin is on the linea spera, and it inserts on the patella and tibial tuberosity, and its action is also to extend the knee. Finally, the last muscle for the quadriceps femoris muscle group is deep to the rectus femoris, and it is the vastus intermedius. The vastus intermedius has its origin on the proximal femur and inserts on the patella and tibial tuberosity. Its action is to extend the knee. The last muscle I'm going to show you for the anterior muscle groups of the thigh is the tensor fascia lata. Its origin is on the iliac crest and anterior superior iliac spine. Let me give you a good show. The tensor fascia lata. Its insertion is on the iliotibial tract and this is the fascia lata that ensheaths all the muscles of the thigh. Its action is to steady the trunk on the thigh. 